guys, it's Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So I recently installed this brand new 8.8 .8 inch or T8 instrument cluster display on my Tesla Model 3. So I have 2021 Tesla Model 3, but in today's video, I will share with you the same display, but on the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland. So this display also compatible with um, older Model 3 like my car and the newer Tesla Model 3 Highland 2. So I will show you what comes in the box and then step by step installation and we'll see how it works and all the functions on the display. And at the end we'll see what it looks like in the Model 3 Highland. Now, let's go. Let's see what comes in the box of this new T8 instrument cluster display from Tesla C. So here what came in the box. So first thing first, the instruction manual. This is really easy to follow and really clear explanation, fully English instruction manual so make sure you look through the instruction manual before the installation and then the next component is the actual display itself this is 8.8 .8 inch uh, diagonally across really low profile display make sure before you install it on the car you attach the display to the steering wheel column first so this is how you attach it so you basically thread all the wire through the bigger holes in the back and then make sure you're facing the display to the bigger bump so that's what is facing to the steering wheels and then basically just screws the included screws that came with it next is an optional front forward camera so this is the whole package for the camera the camera itself and the wiring for the camera last but not least this is the wire harness for the display to connect to the car. So this connects to the 20 pin OBD port in the front of the side passenger seat of your car. Now let's start with the installation. First thing first, use the included plier tools that came in the box and then remove the rubber seal on the door a little bit then use the tool to ply out that panel on the side of the dashboard. There's no screw at all to the panels as you can see here, only four clips. And then a plastic clip that you have to undo that plastic clip and then remove the rest of the rubber seal on the door. Don't worry about the seal because I have done so many times and there's no issue with the water leak. And then just use the ply tool again, ply the side door seals out. There are no screws here. Again, they're all plastic clips that attach it together with the door. Now we should have a full access to that 20 pin on the side passenger panel. Okay, before we connect anything, uh, you should turn off the car first to go to the main menu and then safety and then power off. Here is the 20 pin OBD port. Make sure you plug it in. Um, it's an open port so you have to unplug anything. So plug in that blue plug into the 20 pin OBD port. That's for the data to the display from the car. And then there's another plug on the top which is the power. So this is the pass-through plug. So we have to pass through the power from the car to the display. So just release the original plug and plug in the pass-through plug from the display. Now we have to run the cable across from the right side on the passenger side to the driver's side. So just use the plastic plier to again plier 
the bottom panels underneath the glove box on the passenger side just a little bit so you can insert the wire through that section to get across to the other side then just put that panel back in make sure the wire doesn't block the locking clips so you can easily put it back in now before we run the rest of the cable let me show you how to connect or run the wires for the front forward camera just open the trunk and then um, unscrew the bolts there are four bolts i don't have the actual new model 3 highland to show with me but it's really similar so remove the top panels and then undo the bolts from the top and there's one more clips this is the model y or model 3 the older model y model 3 and then try to remove the top before you do that unclip the switch that opening the front first and then just run the cable through try to fish through the cable from the front trunk through the firewall um, there's like a little um, section that getting all the wiring from the front trunk to the firewall now you should use the wiring tape tape on your fishing line and then fish out from the interior to the front trunk after that run the cable along underneath the top and then go to the front part of the trunk you should be able to go um, straight down from the front trunk and then you have to fish a little wire again underneath the bumper there's like a vent area that you can fish through underneath the bumper and then you just attach the camera after that just put everything back in and we are ready to run the rest of the cable to the other side of the car and then connect to the display now let's continue with the wiring installation so just use that trim remote tool again to help pushing in the wire through the center console as you can see there's a little space that can you can actually push all the wiring into that space and then go over on the driver's side just do you know little by little make sure you don't damage any trim while you're doing it and eventually you will get to the driver's side now after we get to the driver's side we can start opening up compartment just right underneath the steering wheel now that's where we are going to fish through the same wiring up underneath and then go up through the steering wheel column before we fish through the wire make sure you move your steering wheel to the lowest position and all the way out position so we will be able to remove the steering wheel column easily. Now we just use the same, the plastic trim removal tools, little by little pick out on the side of the original steering wheel column. And eventually the steering wheel column should be able to come out. There's no screw on this part either. Basically just a whole bunch of plastic clips. Now we can continue and start fishing the line. So use some kind of um, harder wire or plastic, fish through the bottom part as you can see, and then eventually it will go up on the top underneath the stereo column. Make sure everything go through. Now we know it's going through the right spot. Now we just tight the wire through that fishing line with electrical tape and then we just pull up the cable underneath the steering wheel and through the steering wheel column as you can see now we just remove the tape and get ready to install the display and attach to the steering wheel column before we do that make sure you close down that bottom compartment that we open up nicely and then now we just plug in all the wiring you know blue to blue red to red and the yellow one is the front forward camera make sure you clean up and tighten up all the wiring together with wiring tape or masking tape so it's this way it's easier to manage and easier to put back the steering wheel column cover so eventually you just put everything back on basically same spot now we are done with the installation looks really really nice and clean let's take off that plastic cover and let me show you how it looks in the new Tesla Model 3 Highland.
before I start showing you the details on the display, let me show you the airflow of this display in the Model 3 Highland first. And they are a little bit different here because um, the Model 3 Highland Air Vent is a, um, a lot lower than my current Model 3. So as you can see, the airflow doesn't blow that much on the upper part of um, this way, unlike what you see in my Model 3. And, but you still can get a lower um, airflow, as you can see, through the steering wheel um, on the side. So you have basically have to adjust the airflow on the main display to blow a little lower, so it can go through on the bottom and lower side of the display but you hardly get the airflow on the top part uh, that much now let's go through all the setting and um, functions on the display real quick i'll show this part in my model 3 so basically everything is the same just a little bit of the control you know drive on um, select to drive on the display instead of on the steering wheel all right, the display looks really good in the new Model 3 Highland. Now let's go through all the functions that it offers and also all the setting on the display. This is the starting display or the starting graphic on this display. You have the car status on the left and speedometer to the right and then you see the bar here. It's basically region and power bar and you have the gear selector on the right hand side on the bottom right you have the battery status the percentage and the range in the middle and your odometer in the middle too on the left you will have all the warning lights to the left top left and the time also the temperature outside temperature on the left hand bottom left hand side and this graphic will show all the status on the car so all the doors and also the front as well as the trunk so it shows everything um, in the car that is you know opening or close now to go to the setting menu just swipe to the right of the display and select this icon right here you go to the setting menu so it's the main general setting menu you can change the language time format and this is the front forward camera setting uh, let me show you real quick so you can go turn on and off and you can select the settings you can see you can change the resolution and then frame rate from 25 to 30 and then mirror you can flip the the, the camera and also rotation brightness so this is probably the display with the most um, configuration on the camera I have seen a few display with the cameras with no configuration at all you cannot set or uh, do any setting on the camera at all this is probably the, probably the first one with all the setting on the camera so you can now save it. and you use the right steering wheel um, same as um, on model 3 high and just swipe really quick and if you go to go back to the same main menu again main display and then the steering wheel control which is that right steering wheel that i just show you you can turn on and turn off and tire pressure unit you can change that too and then time zone and next you can change and do the adjustment on the display you can change the car color let me show, let me show you quick so I changed to red as you can see it changed to red and you know change to any colors you want to match your car just change back to white to, to match my car and appearance meaning the the color on the display so this is now auto follow the main display and you can change to day day mode which is the white one and you can change to the night mode which is black background display and temperature unit rainbow road so this is the newest the latest over the air update that they can they just send out which include autopilot warning and rainbow road on autopilot so i'll show you later in the in this video what it looks like um, on the rainbow road on autopilot so you can turn on and off if you don't like the rainbow road and the brightness you can I can just usually turn on auto and the wireless so this is how um, you change from CarPlay to Android Auto 
and then the audio mode you can change to your phone or the display itself you can also change audio on your phone not the display change the output to the car the main source is basically your phone not the display the display is just showing um, the graphic for the phone because that's what the carplay does so just you know swipe down and then select the output right now the output is to the car as you can see so if I play on the display you will hear the sound from the car speaker and you can over the air update by using this right here as you can see using these four um, just turn on your Wi-Fi and then connect to your Firefox Wi-Fi at home then you just select the software update and then check and then just download that's all how you um, over the update it's really really simple uh, make sure you turn it off after you're done with the software update because if you don't turn it off the Apple CarPlay won't work so make sure you turn it off when you when you're done with it and then Apple CarPlay should work and that's pretty much it um, on the setting on the display let me show you um, the driving scene and the apple carplay as you can see this is apple carplay so to change back um, same on the model 3 highland change back to regular display just one click down and then one click up go to the camera swipe and then go back to apple carplay and click down to the main display all right let me show you what it looks like when the car is being driven on the new Mod 3 Highland with different functions on the display. Here's the driving shot of the T8 display in the new Model 3 Highland. As you can see, you can turn on the Rainbow Road function to match the Rainbow Road on the main display and you can also turn off the Rainbow Road if you don't like it. Now, let's test out the blind spot warning there's a truck on the right as you can see the red blinking lights it's blinking at its warning that is car on the right hand side now let me show you the autopilot warning too as you can see it's blinking blue on the top of this display just like on the main display so you don't have to turn to the main display to see if your autopilot give you the warning here's a shot of the Apple CarPlay on the display. Here are also some of driving shots of the display in the Model 3 Highland with the yoke steering wheel. So, you know, some of you asked what it would look like um, on the yoke steering wheels here, what it looks like. And here's some of the shots with a few functions on the display. As you can see in the video, the T8 looks really, really nice and fits perfectly well with the interior of the Model 3 Highland, both Model 3 Highland and my Tesla Model 3 actually. And I love how Tesla C constantly sending out the OTE or over the air update for this display. So it's been about a month or less than a month now they send out four different OTA updates to improve the display and add a lot of functions on the display. So now the display has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and also optional front forward camera. With the OTA update now it has the blind spot warning and optional rainbow road for the autopilot with the autopilot warnings too. These functions didn't have with the display when I received before but with all of these over the air updates now the display has more functions to the display so let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this display and let me know 
what functions or the graphic you are looking for in the display like this and you know Tesla C will listen I will take your comments and then share with them thank you so much guys for watching today's video make sure to put the link of this display and the display for model 3 highland in the description down below with special discount code for you too don't forget to click like if you like the display don't forget to subscribe for more awesome contents like this we'll see you on the next video peace